Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm going to show you guys a very, very inexpensive, quick, last minute idea for an end of the year teacher's gift. This one is for my son's teachers. He's got three in the classroom. He is in Head Start. So um, he has two aides and a teacher. So there's a lot in there and this is a really, really quick and simple project for when you're making stuff for that many people and it's a little last minute because I didn't have this completely planned out and I stalled a little and I just ooh, but this is last minute so it's okay I think they turned out really really cute I hope you love them as much as I do so let's go ahead and dive right in and get started so I got these super cute little five by five inch shadow boxes on Amazon and we're going to go ahead and just remove the back here very gently take that out I'm gonna set this to the side for now because what I'm wanting to focus on is this. I don't want it to be like this brown cardboard looking background. So I'm going to take some vinyl and just give myself like a rough estimate. Where's my scissors? Here we go. A rough estimate of how big it needs to be. I'm just gonna stick that on there as the background. And then of course I will trim the excess and see like this little lip right here if you're going to get the exact same ones I'll have um, the link in the description don't cover that lip because that lip kind of goes like down in here so don't cover that little lip but I'm going to get right up next to it And then just like I would with like a full vinyl wrap, that's kind of how I'm treating this. I anchored it. Now I'm gonna slowly push until it is all covered. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and take my scissors and just trim off that excess. There we go okay that is covered really well so now whenever it goes down inside it'll be a nice white background all right so now I just bought a box of crayons from my local family dollar and I'm just going to kind of like map them out right now as to how I want them so yes I'm just going to dump them all out and I'm going to save some room on the sides because I want to make sure everything fits so I'm going to leave about just like a finger's width of free space on both sides so let's just grab a red orange yellow green blue purple and pink and let's just see how that all fits okay so I'm actually gonna add a little bit more so let me go ahead and put these where I want them red orange yellow green blue purple and pink Let's add a different shade of red here. Another shade of orange, maybe. Let's add another blue. And that. Okay, so that actually looks pretty perfect. And so I'm actually not going to make sure that they are like perfectly lined I kind of like the staggered look originally I was going to try to make sure that they were all like perfectly straight and that would be cute too but I do kind of like the staggeredness of it all if that makes sense so I'm just going to scoot these over to the side making sure they all stay in the order that I want them to be in so I'm going to put these down with some hot glue and what I've decided to do is just kind of put them all about how I want them I'm going to start with this first one here add a dab of hot glue lay it down and then do the one on the end and I want to make sure those are on there really really good and then I'm going to fill in the middle and I did that just because it's kind of like anchoring them down, anchoring the sides down, so I know exactly how much room I have to fill it in. 
just kind of moving my little hot glue stringies away okay so now I'm just gonna go crown by crown and intentionally make them kind of staggered to fill in the rest Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and flip this over and put it inside. Super cute. So now there are three teachers, so I've got two others over here. I'm going to... Um, cut out their name probably in white vinyl I might do a white and different colored offset just to kind of make it pop a little more I'm not sure we'll see but I'm just going to put their name really small about right here and I will make sure to show you guys the font that I'm using as well as the size that I end up using as well okay wait before I do the names I thought of something so cute look I put these little sprinkle glitters in there um so stinking cute this is actually called sprinkles from Ren Wills so I'm just gonna go ahead and open these back up and just show you what I did really quickly I just poured some directly into the shadow box and then closed it back up look how cute you could of course you know use actual glitter but I love how colorful the sprinkles are because you know everything else about this is super colorful as well so not very much that I don't know a tablespoon maybe I don't I don't really know how much is in there but just a little bit you don't want to overdo it stop look how cute okay so now I'm going to add their names Okay, so I don't know if you can really see them, but um, I used a font from Creative Fabrica called High Bright. I will link that font down in the description. And I did 3.25 wide by 1.3 tall. I feel like that is going to be pretty good. So now I'm just going to put the names right on top here. And what I'm doing is using a very used kind of weaker piece of transfer tape just because I don't want there to be a bunch of residue on the glass. And I'm going to stand this straight up just like I do my tumblers so I can get eye level with it and put it good and straight. And look how cute! I cannot handle how stinking cute these are. They all turned out so good. They were so, so, so easy to do. I think the shadow boxes were like seven or eight dollars on Amazon. The crowns were a buck 25 from the dollar store. Um, and of course the little sprinkles and the vinyl and everything I already had. But I mean, this was a very, very quick and inexpensive project. You can do very last minute for the end of the school year. We still have a couple of weeks here for my son, my daughter actually graduates kindergarten next week. So that's coming up really fast, but I got her teacher um, the last video that I made. Super, super cute. If you have not watched that, go check that out. I will link that above here somewhere. And before I go, like always, I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day. And today's quote is, don't count the days, make the days count. That is all I have for you guys today. I really, really hope you enjoyed this. It is so stinking cute. I love it so, so much. And it's not Tumblr or epoxy related, but I think it's my favorite thing that I've ever made one of their teachers. And I've made them a lot of stuff over the last few years, but I love this so much. If y'all have any questions, like always, please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe, be kind, love one another, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!